freaking hot. If you're wondering why I don't do a lot of stuff that American women do, it's because I don't like American women. They're not very smart. The same types of people that tried to sell us razors and bras and they told us, oh, you need to do this and make yourself attractive. Those are the same people that are telling us to um, rip, our, rip out our offspring. Same people. Those are the same people telling us to take birth control. Like the stuff that they advertise to us is really bad. I don't trust it. That's why I always got off birth control because I, I mean, just, it was like a natural reaction. Same with psychiatric medication. I just stopped taking it arbitrarily because I, I just knew it was bad. It was an instinct thing. That's something they, they teach you. Instincts are racist. Instincts are wrong. You're a bad person if you have instincts and trust them and follow them. my instinct right now to drink all this coffee all at once. So fucking good. I randomly came across this band. Like there was this radio station I was listening to and they were playing uh, they were playing a song. It's the song they were playing is So We Won't Forget. That's the song I heard on the radio, and I was like, who is this? This is incredible. And uh, they had a really weird name. I, I immediately looked them up, and I was just like, holy shit, this band is so good. They actually came out in... Uh, what, 20, 2012 or something? No, it was before that. I think it was 2009, man. I don't know. It was earlier. They came out earlier. Now, I don't really follow the bands right now because most bands right now aren't very good. They use a bunch of technology that I don't like. It's one thing if you use synthesizers. It's another thing if you use fucking auto-tune. It's not, it's not uh, the same. You know, when you have like computers doing everything for you, like you can have computers doing stuff that works to your advantage, make it sound good. That's another thing though, when you use computers to replace like humans stuff that humans should be doing you know like anything you you can do it on a computer like you can do a guitar part on a computer but it's it's just not the same you know when you have like a an actual trumpet versus like a computerized trumpet it, it's completely different but why, why do you think we like jazz so much i mean that's just as real as you can get Dude, I got so much Miles Davis coming, I'm so excited about it. But anyway, I gotta go to work. Sometimes I wear my apron, sometimes I don't. It's stupid, because it's not as if it actually prevents me from getting anything on myself. It's more because of the pockets. I can put, I can put my Bible in here and offend people that way. I do miss the old uniform though. We used to just wear like a white t-shirt, we had a bow tie. I just like bow ties, I think bow ties are so cool. You still have all those bow ties though, you have like a whole thing of them. Like you probably have at least 50 bow ties. I know and some of them are, uh, what do you call them? Like, sun damaged. Cause I would leave them on my dashboard and they look really cool though. They look like they're nicotine stained. <laughs> which is so like me because I used to chain smoke. I have like a whole pile of cigarette butts. Like whenever I'd smoke, it was just so great. <laughs> You're so funny, man. I'm hilarious. Okay. Where's my, where's my stick and shake hat? Kim gave me this hat, my friend Kimberly. I gotta talk to my manager and 
ask him if I can go full time, whatever that means. If I can't go full time, that means I'm going to have to get another job. I think that you should see what happens here. And then if you need another job, you can go to that place up the street. But you, you need to pursue comedy. If it's like end times, it means you really, really need to pursue comedy because people need comedy more than anything. Especially what you've got to say because you're incorporating God into it. Nobody's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish that people realized that they can believe in God without having to believe in an institution. They can believe in conservatism without believing in an institution. In fact, I feel like that's the only way to be a good Christian, that's the only way to be a good conservative is if you do not believe in institutions because institutions screw everything up. Because that's a leftist ideology. They just want to control you. Anyway. And now I'm not a Wiccan. <laughs> Mr. Thera said, oh, that's so witchy. <laughs> It is, it is indicative of witchcraft, but I do not believe in that shit. I tried. I tried being a witch and failed. You know, I saw the movie The Craft, and I was like, I want that. I want that life. It didn't really work out like that. Wish I could be Robin Tooney, but I'm not. And you probably end up being Fruit Balk. This is a song that I heard that I thought was so good. Listen to this guitar part right here. I mean, the bass line, the bass line was what always gets me. This is so pretty though, man. I love anything and everything that is nostalgic. I hate that piece of shit. I fucking hate that piece of shit. I hate it when people drive cars like that. It's just, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. I'm obvious histrionic personality. I want everybody to see me. I want everybody to hear me going up and down the road. Fuck that piece of shit. Anyway. I'm gonna do my hair again. I took a shower, y'all. I really like 80s hairstyles. Why do you think I'm so into Huey Lewis in the news? <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. <laughs> you can't even put your hat on, damn it. I can't even put it on, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I wish it were still the 80s. It's unfortunate that we live right now. <laughs> Dude that served me today loved my airwalks. Said if only time could have just stopped. People that aren't nostalgic will never understand people that are. People that don't appreciate anything will never understand people that appreciate things, such as yours truly. But I can still see the glory of this world, like in certain regards, like I can understand that we still have a lot. We just have to, we just have to chase that, you know? You know, so I'm chasing God, I'm chasing Christ, like, cause that, that's the only thing really sustaining me. I was crying reading the Psalms today, not that that means anything, I always cry when I read the Psalms. I usually cry when I read the Bible, period, point blank, but yeah, man. I am Psalm 18, I am Psalm 25, you just don't even know.